What's going on guys, it's Iron Player here and today I'm bringing you the best LMG class in Call of Duty Ghost, my favourite loadout and setup to use when you are using an LMG. So this class is going to revolve around making the LMG as fast as possible and uh, reducing the uh, things that make it a lot slower. So uh, we're going to be using the M27 IAR because I feel this is the best LMG in the game. It's got really strong stats, I love the iron sights naturally so you don't need to waste an attachment on the red dot sight and I just think is an all-round best LMG especially because it is actually a uh, it's not a belt fed LMG which is kind of like the big string of bullets that you have to load in you have to lift the thing up really really long process and uh, this one is a lot better because you literally just pull out the cartridge and uh, put a new one back in so it's a lot quicker reload and that's why I like this LMG uh, for attachments we're going to go with rapid fire because again I love rapid firing Call of Duty Ghost I think it's really really strong uh, kind of like Black Ops 1 normally in Modern Warfare games they would make rapid fire just have ridiculous recoil and uh, it wasn't very helpful at all in this i'm not sure whether they'll patch it or not but i absolutely love rapid fire it just makes it simply churn out bullets really quickly and i hardly notice a uh, decrease in accuracy so i think it's a really good attachment to use on this and especially seeing as you have a massive lmg clip you've got plenty of bullets to spray around now the second attachment i'm going to recommend is the flash suppressor and uh, i think this is really really useful i absolutely love this on the lmgs because lmgs have a lot of their uh, muzzle flash this is kind of like the flash that pops up every time you take a shot i'm not sure what it is something like gunpowder or some explosion but uh, this is the flash that's very very distracting it makes the iron sights very messy you can't see what you're shooting at and you can see it just here this is what an lmg normally looks like and when you're trying to see someone through your sights it makes it very very unhelpful so uh, this muzzle flash uh, just completely reduces that and uh, the flash suppression is a very very good attachment I absolutely love it for that and seeing as we're on rapid fire there'll be a lot more of a muzzle flash so this is a very good attachment and i like that a lot and, uh, and then we're not going to use any secondaries lethals or tacticals because again i don't think they're too useful i think uh, more perks is definitely more of an advantage to use now uh, as for perks i like to use the perk ready up of course because this means ready fast after sprinting and uh, most of the perks in this class setup are actually going to be for the speed because the main priority that we need to do is their uh, speed because lmgs are very very slow they take a long time to do pretty much anything and uh, that's what makes them kind of uh, balanced as opposed to assault rifles is the fact that some things are very very slow like aiming down your moving speed your moving speed while aiming down your reload speed so if you use perks that counter all these you basically have a beastly assault rifle so where uh, these are the perks i'm going to be using ready up which is faster aiming after sprinting and, uh, and then we're going to slides of hand of course because of lmgs take a very very long time to reload i'm so glad that they added their uh, slide of hand back into uh, call of duty ghost in black ops 2 there was no way to speed up the reload speed of an lmg and that was really really bad for lmg players so uh, and then the next perk i'm going to use is agility this is going to increase your movement speed and uh, overall just kind of help you move around because lmgs of course take a very very long time to run anywhere and it says uh, very hard to be able to move around the map when you're taking this slow lmg around and then the next perk i like to use is uh, sometimes stalker but it depends on kind of how i feel like playing stalker is a very good perk for uh, generally lmgs because it allows you to move faster when you're aiming down sight but uh, i generally don't tend to use it i don't think i'm using it in this gameplay because i just don't like it feels a bit too twitchy and too accurate sometimes i like to be able to move slower because it means i can be more accurate because it's kind of less jolting around the place so uh, you can use stalker if you like i generally don't really like to that much and, uh, and another perk i like to use is on the go uh, this is in the handling attachment this allows you to reload while you're sprinting and then uh, steady aim which allows you to reduce the hit fire spread i think this is useful not because you're supposed to be running around hit firing an mg that's a very bad idea but uh, when you're aiming down sight and you're shooting it basically has uh, less of a reduction to make when the cone of spread is being reduced so the direction of bullets of where they're going to fly off is uh, going to be reduced a lot quicker because it has less of a reduction to do and that means that your bullets are going to be all in all very more accurate and then finally we're going to go with quick draw this allows you to aim down sight faster and again is one of the faults of the lmgs so i believe when you're running all of these perks and uh, attachments like i have on an lmg i personally prefer the m27 i think you can make a very very strong class that's very close to an assault rifle and uh, doesn't have any of the negative traits that lmgs have and you can be really really fast rushing around pretty much like your assault rifle maybe the submachine gun player and uh, yes this is my favorite class if you have something that you like to use as the best lmg class leave it in the comment section let me know what you like to use or if you would perhaps change a perk a perk that you like to use instead of the one i selected so uh, yeah if you enjoyed this video you can leave a like rating on it and if
if you want to see more from me then you can subscribe to my channel for future videos and for previous videos i've made you can check out the koji ghost playlist which is linked in the description so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys later Jump.